Good morning, First Baptist Carlsbad family. Pastor Hal here uh, with a daily word of encouragement. It is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Sitting here on my back porch in uh, Carlsbad in the Farmview subdivision. Uh, you might be able to see over my shoulder uh, the beautiful blue skies here. Um, 70 degrees right now. Supposed to get up to about 84 today, but uh, 70 degrees right now, 28% humidity. I love that. Love living out in the Southwest, uh, low humidity. Grew up in uh, Florida where we, in summertime, even starting right now, the humidity would just be atrocious. So love the land of enchantment. It's another one of those beautiful uh, days in New Mexico. And uh, one of the things I love to do, um, try to do it on a daily basis. I wish I could say I was perfect at doing it, uh, but there are times that I just uh, don't do it and I'm inconsistent. Maybe you struggle with that, uh, even as a pastor. Um, I struggle with uh, sometimes uh, letting things get in the way of, of daily time uh, with the Lord, particularly in his word. But uh, one of the things that I love to do is to read through uh, what I would say is the daily Psalms. And I picked up on this. I don't know, several years ago, don't remember where I read it, uh, but just to take uh, what's known as the daily Psalms and whatever today is, say today is the 16th and uh, read the five Psalms. Uh, really, you can read through um, uh, the book of Psalms every month uh, this way. And uh, so today is the 16th. So read Psalm 16 and then add 30 days. So Psalm 16, Psalm 46, Psalm 76, Psalm uh, 106 and Psalm uh, 136. And so that's what I did today. And I tell you just about every Psalm, I, I wasn't exactly sure what God wanted me to share with you this morning now, because all of those Psalms just spoke to me um, about and what we're going through, because if you go outside and you look at the beautiful sky, if you're uh, walking around, you would think everything is just um, the way it's always been. But we understand uh, that things right now are not normal. Now, I'm not sure when normal is going to come back. And even when it does, it probably will be a different kind of normal. Uh, but even in the midst of changing circumstances and uncertain times and uncertain days, um, God's word still speaks to us. And I, and I love uh, what God spoke to me today about, and hopefully it will be a word of encouragement for you. Um, but particularly in uh, Psalm 46, the first uh, three verses, uh, very familiar passage of scripture to many of you, but uh, just to be encouraged this morning, uh, uh, the psalmist declares in Psalm 46, verse one, God is, not was, not will be, but God is, our refuge and strength, a helper who is always found in times of trouble. And so whether it's trouble that we're going through as a nation and as a world, uh, whether it's trouble in your own family, in your own life, um, God is, present tense, our refuge and strength, a helper who is always found in times of trouble. And because of that, the psalmist can declare in verse 2, therefore, because God is our refuge and strength, and because God is a helper who is always found in times of trouble, therefore, we will not be afraid. Though the earth trembles, and we're seeing that even today, uh, the earth trembling with the coronavirus and even with earthquakes and uh, tornadoes uh, all around, therefore, we will not be afraid. Though the earth trembles and the mountains topple into the depths of the seas, though the water roars and foams and the mountains quake with its turmoil, Therefore, we will not be afraid. God is our refuge and strength, a helper who is always found in times of trouble. And God's uh, faithfulness uh, to you and to me is eternal. And I love uh, what the psalmist declares in uh, Psalm 136, that over and over and over, and, and he recounts uh, God's uh, many works of love but God's faithful love endures forever. And that love, by the way, uh, because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God's love for you and for me is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And God's faithful love endures forever. No matter what we go through, no matter what we face, God's faithful love endures forever. And this morning, as we think about God being our present help and our refuge and our strength, as we think about God's faithfulness, and God's faithful love enduring forever. I love what uh, David re would record in uh, Psalm 16, that there is abundant joy, not just minuscule joy, not, not just a little tiny bit of joy, but that there is abundant joy 
in God's presence. And so today, uh, might we seek out God's presence? You know, might we know his power? And might we know his peace? Might we experience his eternal love and his faithfulness that endures forever? And might we know that God is today? And if we have tomorrow, God will be tomorrow. Our refuge and our strength, the helper who is always, always found in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not live by fear. We will live by faith in the one who is always faithful to us, who always loves us and always cares for us. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day in the Lord. No matter what you do today, might you find your refuge and might you find your strength in the Lord and might you know his joy abundantly in his presence. God bless you. Have a wonderful, blessed day in the Lord. We'll see you again tomorrow.